Welcome, welcome, welcome. Lisa Summer here today. Let's see how everyone's doing. Sorry, I'm late. I'm always late for one reason or another. It never fails. So first I didn't have the internet and then my Zoom app that I use for these videos decided to uh, do an update. Like awesome, 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 awesome. <laughs> it's not one thing, it's another. Yay. All right. Hey, Bev. Perfect. Hi, Donna. Hi, Diane. Hi, Kristen. Yay. Okay. So it's time to get back to the basics. I've had this chat a lot and done these videos a lot. But the reason I want to do this again, hey, Valerie, is I'm getting the same questions over and over and over. I've fallen off the wagon with my oils. What do I do? So first of all, <clears throat> if you have any oils or supplements that you are not using, that you have questions about, take a pick and post them in the comments. Um, if you can't take a pic and post them in the comments, then list them in the comments. For example, I always get, I have geranium, what do I use it for, right? Because number one, I want you to feel good about the products that you've already purchased or gotten free, right? I want you to feel good about the money that you have spent with doTERRA and get the value out of the products that you already have in your inventory, okay? So number one, because so many of the products can be used for multiple things, okay? Number two, hey, Pamela. Number two, I want to go over the basics, like the basic 15 oils super fast that you should have in your inventory, everyday use, emergencies, travel, et cetera, and supplements that should be a, a part of your routine, period, for you and your children. Okay. That way, I keep, I'm like every day now I'm getting multiple people reaching out to me saying, I fell off the wagon, I fell off the wagon, I fell off the wagon. Okay. I want to hear in the comments what your must have everyday use oils are as well. So when you post in the comments, make sure it's clear, hey, I want to know about more about this oil and ways I can use it. Or, hey, these are the oils I use all the time. Okay. And remember, um, I'm watching your comments too. Remember that um, I'm going to be doing a lot more giveaways. I gave away hundreds and hundreds, well, probably a thousand dollars worth of stuff last month, right? So that's more to come. So Pamela has three Mandarin. Okay, so super easy. Look up in your book, right? There's yellow, red, and green Mandarin. You want to be drinking those in your water every single day. Pick one and alternate them. I don't know if yellow is in the book. Let's see. Nope. But I know green mandarin is and red mandarin was in one of the last ones. So I know it's in here as well. So you are very fortunate that that is in the book. So um, what is so fabulous about red mandarin is the limonene right? So limonene. So again, what we know about limonene is it helps with glutathione production. So Google glutathione, G-L-U-T-A-T-H-I-O-N-E, right? We need to be drinking citrus oils with limonene to help with the natural production of glutathione, okay? So red mandarin, for example, is great for digestive congestion, anything skin related, immunity, hyperactivity in children, um, liver, urinary, lymphatic, um, sad feelings, mental fatigue, fear, irritability, hysteria, tantrums, lack of sleep, restlessness, varicose veins, poor circulation, and great for cleaning, right? So red mandarin. I have a customer um, that wanted all my red mandarin because they drink it in their water every day um, because it helps um, them with um, cravings and um, weight management, right? So red mandarin. So all the mandarins are um, great for drinking in your water. Um, let's go to green. 
feeling it's going to be very similar. Yep, limonene and Y-terpenine, right? So green mandarin is great for sad feelings, feeling agitated, afraid, nervous, needing work with your inner child. I don't know any if any of you are in therapy, but I highly recommend um, working with a therapist um, for learning more about yourself and um, why you are the way you are. It is fascinating. I'm doing inner child work with my therapist right now. It is absolutely incredible to learn that um, your beliefs in yourself are developed from the age of zero to two. Isn't that fascinating? So anyway, green mandarin, I'm going to add that to my routine. It's uplifting, refreshing. It's great for digestive, cleansing, and expectorant and calming. It's great for situational anxiety, anything digestive, circulation, lymphatic, water retention, same things as red mandarin, but because of the Y-terpenine, um, you can look up the benefits of Y-terpenine and see um, why it also has some additional benefits. It helps with blood sugars, metabolism, and cholesterol, green mandarin. So that's what makes it different than red mandarin, okay? It's also good for skin um, and breast issues, um, <clears throat> lack of mental energy, alertness, anything skin related, right? So um, citrus oils are great for the skin. Just make sure you don't go out into the sun for 24 hours. All right, let me read some of your comments here and see what y'all are saying. Comments are fly are coming in now. All right. Immortel. So Immortel is amazing. Immortel for anything skin, inflammatory. So all over the face, it'll get rid of scars. I have, um, my scars are gone. I had lots of scars from having things removed from my face. I had precancers on my nose, on my ear. I had other moles that they took off um, on my face when I was like 20 something and I had scars all over my face, all gone. So Immortal, Immortal is also great for eye health. So my mom used it for her glaucoma because the glaucoma medicine um, stopped working and she was going to lose her eyesight. She did not intentionally use it for the eye pressure. She intentionally used it for the aging and fine lines and wrinkles around her eyes. And it turned out to be um, what brought the eye pressure down. So she uses Immortel every day to maintain healthy eye pressure. So Immortel for wrinkles, fine lines, age spots, sun damage, skin damage, sunburn, any kind of wounds, scars. There's great testimonials. If you type scar in the search bar of this group, Yay Oils Public Education, um, you're going to see some incredible before and after scars um, from people that had um, massive surgeries from skin cancer. Um, Immortel helped take away the redness in my skin. I no longer um, have acne or blotchy skin. Um, you can actually use Immortel on the perineum post-childbirth. Um, it's great for cataracts, tension, mood, meditation. And if you look at the oils are in it, right, when it's a blend, look up each oil in the blend and you know you're getting those benefits as well. This oil, Immortel, is a pre-made roller of pure oils and it's a big dog. It is frankincense, Hawaiian sandalwood, lavender, myrrh, helichrysum, and rose. All of the top most expensive oils except for lavender, right? Um, it is a powerhouse. To make it last longer, you can divide it up into two or three rollers. You just pop the roller top off, use a pipette to um, pull some out, and divide it evenly between two or three rollers, depending on how um, diluted you like it. I used mine straight. <clears throat> when I first got it and used it straight, my skin reacted because it was so strong and I was still so full of toxins when I started my doTERRA and ordered it that I had to stop using it on my face for a little bit and then use it diluted. And now I can use it straight again because my body is so free of toxins. All right, let's see what else you got. We went through the mandarins. Drink the mandarins in your water and diffuse them. I don't diffuse red mandarin. For some reason, it smells like cat pee to me when I diffuse it, even though it smells great out of the bottle. So I drink the red mandarin. Uh, Charlene says, any recipes for thyroid support? And when will MetaPower be available in Europe? Don't know about the Europe questions, um, but for your thyroid um, 
clove, lemongrass, myrrh, frankincense. Um, let me also look in the book. That's just off the top of my head. And I really like to make sure. And um, read from the book so that you know that you can do all this support on your own. Thyroid. What's not under thyroid in the book? It's under. All right. So for thyroid, look up hypo. we go. All right. So clove, cinnamon bark, cinnamon bark. This is for thyroid health. Cinnamon bark is 10% off this month in the U.S., but it sounds like you're in Europe. So cinnamon bark, clove, black pepper, ginger, wintergreen, um, aromatouch. <clears throat> DDR prime, rosemary, myrrh, ginger, and juniper berry right, for maintaining a healthy thyroid. The number one thing you can do is take lifelong vitality pack if it's available in your market. And then to keep it simple, frankincense, lemongrass, clove, myrrh. You can make a roller, 10 drops each, roll it over your thyroid um, three times a day. Um, also roll the bottoms of your feet and drop a frankincense on your tongue and lifelong vitality pack every day. Sarah says, you look amazing. Thank you, I feel amazing. I'm a little congested, so we're going to talk about that. Um, Pamela likes to use um, green mandarin for maintaining healthy blood pressure and maintaining healthy cholesterol. Jacqueline says her mom uses on guard for her thyroid. Well, that makes sense, right? Because it has cinnamon and clove and some of those oils in there. Awesome. Perfect. Um, okay. Bring, keep bringing on the questions, guys. Um, put your questions in the comments. Okay, so we talked about those quick that were in the comments. Now let's talk about like everyday use. Okay, back to square one. Everyone should be taking lifelong vitality pack vitamins. If you don't take it, tell me why. I want to convince you to get back on the wagon, okay? It's three bottles. The full dose is four of each a day. I take two of each with breakfast or lunch, whatever my first meal is, and two of each later when I'm feeling run down. Normal, regular, every day, I take two of each with breakfast or lunch, all right? Maintains my mental health, helps with hair, skin, nails, digestive, mood. Um, I don't nap. So I have natural energy from food sources, all right? And then Terrazyme, three to five on an empty stomach in the morning and three to five at night. That's for me. It keeps my belly fat down. It helps with cortisol. It helps with muscle recovery and soft tissues and joints because I'm exercising on a daily basis. Probiotics and prebiotic in PB assist, right? For gut health. This is the number one thing to do right now for immunity as well, all right? Pile on the probiotics, folks. I'm taking three to five probiotics a day because I have this congestion that just um, came up last week, right? That's a must, period. And then now we are all learning about the power of MetaPower. If you're gonna start with one more product based on your budget, you wanna get the MetaPower Advantage, which is the collagen plus NMN, okay? And so start with that and then add on the Assist. The MetaPower Assist breaks down, um, shrinks fat cells, helps maintain healthy blood sugars, helps digest that food. So you take assist before you eat and it helps um, with breaking down your food and absorption and maintaining healthy glucose levels, right? The key is the glucose. That's the key of the assist, right? And it helps your body from um, <clears throat> um, with the carbohydrates. Sorry, texts keep coming in today for some reason. Um, all right, so... MetaPower Advantage, number one, MetaPower Assist, number two, and um, then MetaPower, um, the oil blend, drink in your water, diffuse it, apply it to your body topically, and you can also take the beadlets and the gum, okay? 
That's our basics, get back on the wagon. Now for oils that you need to use on a daily basis, if you're having trouble with sleep, it depends on what you have going on. I wanna hear your comments. If you're having trouble with sleep, we have got to make sure that you sleep. I just went through a period of no sleeping for like six weeks and it was not great. Um, it's taken a while to get my hormones under control. So I made um, everything but the kitchen sink hormone dropper bottle. You can look it up, type in kitchen sink in the search bar of this group and it pops up. I'm now using that every day for hormone balancing. I'm also making sure that I'm using the love your liver roller every day and an adrenal support roller. And I got the recipe from the essential life book. So if you followed me at all, you know, I just like to throw a whole bunch of oils in one thing and be done with it. So I looked up adrenals and I went to this section for adrenals and any oil that they listed for any reason in the adrenal section, I added all of them to this roller, all right? Rosemary, basil, geranium, zendocrine, lang lang. Let me go to page 354. I added them all, right? Why? Because... I needed to start working right away <laughs> because I needed hormone balance, all right? So our hormones are um, hormone issues are a result of many things. So I'm menopausal, right? So those hormones are produced in the liver. My liver's overburdened. I already know my liver doesn't function properly because of the severe reactions that I have to medications, all right? So I needed daily liver support, not just when I remembered, right? So I use my liver roller for that. And you can um, type liver in the search bar of this group, Yay Oils Public Education, or someone can post it in the comments for us while we're chatting, okay? I talk about it almost every video, um, but forget to use it. So adrenals, right? So frankincense, sandalwood, geranium, lang lang, blue tansy, clove, lemongrass, basil, rosemary, DDR prime, zendocrine, I'll probably list more, citrus bloom, citrus bliss, black spruce, clove, cardamom, cedarwood. I just went through the entire adrenal section in the Essential Life book, put all those oils in one dropper bottle, it filled up about half of the dropper bottle and filled the rest with coconut oil, right? I put it in my hands and I roll it over my adrenals um, two to three times a day. Now, between all those three things, I'm sleeping at night, right? Being covered in hot flash sweats every 30 to 60 minutes, wake, not waking me up anymore. Incredible for mental health. If you aren't sleeping and you're menopausal or perimenopausal or hot flashes, anything whatsoever, that affects your serotonin production. That was affecting my mood. I was crying unnecessarily. I rarely cry. Um, and my mood swings were all over the place. One minute I'd be happy, the next minute I'd be crying. It made no sense whatsoever, right? I'm an incredibly strong person. Okay, so um, <clears throat> drops question mark. Be more specific for me, um, Tara. All right, so... Um, the number of drops you put in a roller or a dropper bottle depends on how many oils you're putting in. So a dropper bottle, a 15 milliliter dropper bottle carries about or holds about 300 drops. Okay. So you just make sure that you're putting in 150 drops of oil. If you're putting in 10 oils, that's 15 drops each. If you're putting in 15 oils, that's 10 drops each, right? Make sure your dropper bottle is half essential oil, half carrier oil, like fractionated coconut oil. Same thing with your roller. Um, a lot of times I make my roller stronger. A 10 milliliter roller is around 175 drops, give or take. Okay, you could say. 200 if you wanted, because um, it's probably closer to 200, but let's just say 175. So you're going to make half of that um, oil, okay? So you just do math, okay? And do an equal distri distribution, okay, of those oils in your roller. So half and half is great, okay? Keep it simple, okay? If you find a recipe specific that you love and it only uses five oils, great, use that. 
I'm an all or nothing kind of gal and I have every oil. So I'm going to use every oil and I'm no, I'm going to get additional benefits as well. Some of these oils are great for thyroid, pancreas, um, uh, sluggish glandular, right? All kinds of stuff. I figure why not? It's not going to hurt anything. I also like to put them on the bottoms of my feet with the dropper. Okay. So I fill a whole dropper. I roll, rub it along or drop it along the side of my foot. It runs down. I rub my two feet together and I put my socks and slippers on, right? If I've got these on, you know, I've got oils on my feet because my feet are not cold. Okay. That keeps um, me from having an excuse of, oh, I don't want to get oils on the floor. Boom. I put my oils on. I put my socks on. I put my slippers on. I'm good to go. No excuses. Then I have the adrenal one over my back and I have this endocrine uh, love your liver one over the front. Women, this is basic every day. You need to do it. Period. Okay. Non-negotiable. Then also Zendocrine White Bottle Complex to help keep our liver clear and our hormones balanced. And then if you have additional need for hormone support, you need to take the Women's Health Kit, which is phytoestrogen supplement. If you need help understanding why it's okay to take it, a lot of people say, oh, I can't take estrogen, blah, 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 blah. Nope, you're, you're misunderstanding the product, right? And so I will post why it is okay to take phytoestrogen, um, especially if you've been told you cannot take um, estrogen uh, products. This is the one you need to take because it literally cleans the receptor um, receptors um, that absorb uh, estrogen, okay? And it cleans off the xenoestrogens, the bad estrogens, okay? Vanessa says she's been loving the kitchen sink hormone recipe. Yay. Okay. So back to phytoestrogen and the women's health kit. It's phytoestrogen, bone nutrient supplement, and clary calm ruler. I don't care what issue you have female related, whether it's cysts, um, endometriosis, migraine headaches, um, anything female related, perimenopausal, menopausal, women's health kit, phytoestrogen, bone nutrient, clary calm must be a part of your daily routine. Okay. Right. So we have got to get back on the wagon ladies. We just have to. Okay. Um, all right. So we talked about LLV, terazyme, PV assist, Zendrican white bottle complex, phytoestrogen, and bone nutrient. Right. So what are some additional things that I like to use for immunity? Right. People are getting horribly ill from whatever respiratory thing is going around Florida. And for me, all it's done is made me a little congested. And at night I have a little bit of a cough. OK, so what do I do for the cough? I roll two rollers, <clears throat> Copaiba roller all over my chest and throat. And it helps stop the cough. And then to keep things healthy um, and moving and working. I have a roller of Siberian fur, 20 drops and lime, 20 drops in a 10 milliliter roller topped with coconut oil all over my chest and throat. And then before I go to bed, I put like five or six drops of tea tree in my hands, rub it together, put it behind my ears, all over my throat and chest and I go to bed. Okay. And then I spray my flute, frankincense, lemon, oregano, on guard, tea tree and thyme oil, five drops each in a 30 milliliter doTERRA plastic spray bottle. Looking around for it, I think it's on the kitchen counter. Yes, it tastes disgusting. I spray it in my mouth two or three times a day and it's my antibiotic spray, okay? And it helps kill everything. Goodness, everyone's texting for oil help today. <laughs> Holy moly. So, um, that's what happens when it's a new year post holidays. Everybody um, is getting sick this time of year. They're like, I fell off the wagon. It's my fault. Okay, let's get back on the wagon, folks. So you can go to my uh, files tab here in Yay Oils Public Education, find my favorite recipes, one and two sheet. At the very top is the foundation of health. You should all be using the foundation of health. I wrote that eight years ago based on some research and four or five years ago, maybe four years ago, Dr. Hill came out with his healthy daily habits and it's almost identical. 
Okay, so I don't care which one you have and use, but you need to be using these products on a daily basis. So I will screen shoot that and post it um, for us today. But today is about getting back on the wagon, okay? I wanna know what your daily routine is in the comments so you can help others get back on the wagon too, okay? We have got to do doTERRA daily routines, folks. Okay, I'm gonna wrap up so this is nice and short so that people rewatch it. I wanna hear in the comments and work with you in the comments about what you need help with. Post oils that you don't know what to do with so we can give you some ways to use them. Make sure when you post them that you say, what do I do with these oils or these supplements, okay? What is the best time to take probiotics? Roxanne, you're going to hear different answers from everyone. I have heard to take probiotics before bed. I've heard to take probiotics first thing in the morning. Do whatever you're comfortable with. I have always taken them at bedtime, okay? You can also take extra omegas at bedtime. That's the best time to take um, extra omegas for brain health, uh, cholesterol, um, and um, body system repairs, okay? So we have got to get back on the wagon with these daily routines, folks. If you have some suggestions in the comments how to help people stay on a routine and get back on the wagon, please share those. And then um, I'll be posting um, some, quite a few posts here in the next couple of days for uh, answering some of your questions on the products that you have questions about right? So I'll post um, some tips and tricks. Then I've got some recipes for your cinnamon bark oil that's on sale this month and um, your free frankincense that you got last month. I'm going to post some tips on ways that you should be using that. Everyone knows by now to do frankincense on their tongue every single day. Um, frankincense needs to be a part of your daily routine period because of its ability to repair damaged cells, right? All right. Thanks, everybody. Super great lives, says Pamela. Yay, I'm glad you think so. Okay, trying to keep them shorter so you guys have time to watch them. All right, implement those basics and help people get back on the basics. All right, have a great day. Happy oiling. Bye.